Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jezra, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your MIDI keyboard with your stock plugins in GarageBand. So before we start, if you learned anything or enjoyed the video, press the like button and then also subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. Now, this technique is good for any beginners who don't have a synthesizer but do have access to GarageBand and have a pretty basic MIDI keyboard like uh, the one I'm about to show you here it is the Akai MPK Mini, so we'll be using that one. So to start things off, there are some things you're going to need, obviously. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a MIDI keyboard. Second thing is GarageBand. Um, third would be your talk box. You can use an MXR talk box or a Banshee talk box. Any talk box that has an in and output will work just fine. And then the last thing you're going to need is an audio interface like a Scarlett. Or if you don't have an interface, you can bypass it with this male to female 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch cable adapter. So you can find these on Amazon, they're pretty inexpensive. But if you don't have an audio interface, you can use this and I'll explain more as we go along in the video how to use this. All right, so we're gonna switch to a top down view and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set everything up. Here we go. All right, so here we are on my desk and one of the first things we're going to want to do is connect our MIDI keyboard to our computer. So I have one wire running from the MIDI keyboard and then it's going right into my laptop. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is set up our talk box. So we're going to want to go ahead and connect our power. And then you're gonna plug in a quarter inch cable into the input jack on the talk box. Now, if you have an audio interface, go ahead and connect your audio interface to your computer. So I have a cable running from my audio interface into my computer. If you don't have an audio interface, you can completely skip using this and that's what we're gonna do today. So we're actually not gonna use this we're gonna take the easier route. It'll give you the exact same sound. Um, so we're just gonna leave this out for now. All right, so what we're gonna do next is the other end of your quarter inch cable is gonna go into the adapter here. All right, and then this uh, 3.5 millimeter end is gonna go into the headphone jack on your computer. So what we're going to be doing now is opening up GarageBand and what we're going to do is we're going to open up a synthesizer app. The sound from the synthesizer app is going to come out of the headphone jack into the talk box and then up the tube and into our mouths and we'll be able to control all of the notes with our MIDI keyboard. That's how you can get your talk box to work without using a hardware synthesizer um, just by using a software synthesizer on your computer. Um, you can use GarageBand, you can use FL Studio, Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton, whatever, as long as you can get a sound coming out of the headphone jack. Now, this isn't the best way to do it. The best way to operate a talk box would be to have a hardware synthesizer. I use a micro Korg, um, but if you want to practice or if you just want to get the hang of it or you don't want to pay for a synthesizer, this is a great way to practice and to get started. Now, one thing that I do have to say is that I haven't found a way to record audio with the talk box while using this method. So all the audio is gonna be routed through the headphone jack and it makes it really hard to actually record your own voice using this way. So a lot of you are gonna ask, how do I record using this method? This method is not good for recording, it's good for practicing and, and getting used to the talk box. All right, let's move on. So now that your MIDI keyboard is connected and your talk box is connected, we're gonna go ahead and open up GarageBand. All right, so to get a talk box sound, first we're gonna wanna have a saw wave. And all I did was go to synthesizer and then I went to lead. And then here in lead, there's a preset called scream lead. And so basically I tweaked around with it for a little bit now at this point, you could go ahead and turn on your talk box and then see if you can get any kind of sound coming out of the other end of the tube. So let's see if we can get any sound. Pretty good. All 
right, so that's basically it, but let me show you how to get a talk box sound. So first of all, the glide, you're gonna want it to be very low or just a little bit of glide. And what this does is glide is how long the notes take uh, to transition from one to the other. So I'll give you an example here. Let me move the computer up. So I'll give you an example here. This is low glide. And then this is glide turned all the way up. So of course we don't want it to be all the way up like that. So I keep it all the way down or just add a barely a little bit of glide. Um, sub, I keep it all the way down. Shape, I turned it all the way up. Depth, I have it barely just above zero. Um, harmonic, I have it set to the two o'clock position. Overdrive off, delay off, reverb off. Now let's try this out. Oh yeah, now I play the tar box. So that's working great. Um, this is a fairly simple thing to do. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down in the comments and I'll reply to you as fast as I can. So just to recap, the MIDI keyboard is gonna be connected to your computer. The talk box is gonna be connected to the headphone jack. You open up GarageBand, go to synthesizers, go to lead, go to scream lead, adjust the knobs exactly how I showed you, and you should be able to get the same sound that I did. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you learned something, please subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.